everybody, how's it going? Ponchi's here coming at you with a 10 episode of Pose Game Easy. Hooray! Unfortunately, there's a lot of time for celebrations right now. I just caught wind that Home Depot has a $35 life-size skeleton. That's obviously a place where I need to be. So without further ado, go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, baby. Woo! Yo, what's up, girls and boys? It's time to make some noise. Cause I'm back and I'm on this track now. Let's talk about some plastic toys. You can bet I pose them all. Legends of Dragon Balls, Batman and Kaiju, and Kamen Riders. I collect them all. Gotta make sure you pose this tight, though. Make sure your light is right, though. Keep it contained because you train for this your entire life, bro. So please don't adjust your TV. This is your host, Ponch Easy. Sit back and relax and learn this fact. Posing ain't easy. <laughs> All right, here we are at Home Depot on the hunt for some skelly babies. Let's go. <laughs> here we go, found the all right here. Quite the Motley's crew we have here. Uh, this first one right here is super boring. Can't even imagine a situation where I'd wanna buy this thing, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy over here is the one to get though. This is the one that just looks the coolest. I mean, especially compared to this dude. <laughs> this guy looks like, I don't know, your drunk uncle at a barbecue or some shit. What the hell is going on? <laughs> What? How? I never know if the scale is right, but luckily, keep that motherfucking thing on me, dude. <laughs> oh, brother, Checks out, I guess. <laughs> While I was here, I figured I might as well check out some other bone props. A little bag of bones right here. You never go wrong. There's some cool dog stuff, too. I mean, just depending where you go, there's a bunch of different stuff. Over here at Target, there was some other animals, and there's a lot of cool stuff like home goods, places where you really wouldn't expect it. It's pretty crazy. But I ultimately ended up choosing this little guy right here. How could I not? He looks incredible. I named him Wardell. We got McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> and we got straight to work, baby. We had, <laughs> we had history to make. Let's go. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Was it worth it spending $35 on a life-size skeleton prop solely for the purpose of doing one ranking of King's photo? Absolutely. Take a look at this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, how, how, can you, how can you deny it? It looks good. It looks great. Look at little Boji here. Oh my God. This looks incredible. This looks insane. And this skeleton's huge. So it's pretty safe to assume that I am extremely pleased with how this came out. <laughs> this is exactly how I envisioned it when I had it in my mind. I was, I was at Home Depot, dude, and I saw this thing and I was like, you know what? I, I, it, it's a lock. I have to get this. <laughs> So in terms of the actual setup and shot, it's actually pretty simple. It's just this little diorama I made here. I actually made this as like a Pokemon inspired diorama. That's why you see like the, the grass is in uh, like little patches right here. There's like a little mountain cliff thing. I don't know, is that a cliff? No, it's not a cliff. It's like, it's like three feet off the ground. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. What? It's a pretty simple diorama, uh, but I really, I really enjoy it. Again, very simple setup here. This is just Boji right here, back turned. A little less iconic, but I think with his green cape and his crown, it's pretty easy to recognize, I guess. And then of course, a big ass skeleton and the TV in the background. Uh, as you can see, I had to raise it up a little bit right here and down here. And down here, I had to raise up the skeleton too. That's just because my TV sits a little higher than this actual table right here. I'm so jealous of these guys that have their tables and their TV set at the perfect height. They don't have to do all this nonsense, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, pretty simple all around. Like I just really love the scale of this little skeleton. Well, I mean, I say little, but I just really love the scale of the skeleton. Um, whenever I got this Boji, I was really, really concerned on finding in scale enemies for him to fight. Like. Goji is so little and he's already like out of scale with the rest of like my six inch figures. I was just really at a loss for characters for him to fight. Like I feel like my only option was like one six scale figures, but even then the one six scale figures I own are like very specific. They're just like anime figures, some Spider-Man stuff right here. 
and then more Spider-Man stuff up here, dude. Like, there's absolutely nothing for Boji to, like, fight or pair him up with, honestly. So, for a long time, I was actually looking at, like, Fisher-Price stuff. I was looking for, like, dinosaurs or just kitty-looking stuff, just because the art style of Ranking of Kings is kind of reminiscent of that old, like, 60s and 70s Japanese anime kind of style that's also pretty heavily influenced by American art, too. I don't know. I'm just saying a lot of words right now. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? And as Mimi as buying a one-to-one -one scale skeleton is, like, it really does work in the context of Ranking of Kings because, like, I just used it as a giant and Boji is super little and it just scales really, really well. I'm, I'm super pleased. When it came to the rest of the setup in terms of lighting and stuff, it was also super simple. Uh, I used this background right here on my TV that was like a countryside. Of course, the diorama is also like a countryside type of diorama too. So I really only wanted to have one light and I have this really, really nice bright light panel right here. I just cranked this thing up to 100% and I just shot it from the very top. Unfortunately, my actual light is blinding right now so you can't really tell, but it is pretty dim. So I wasn't able to get that sunlight type of you know, effect with just my overhead lamp alone. So this really came in handy. And I just didn't want a whole bunch of shadows with a bunch of different lights and stuff. So I felt like that was the best option. What? Are there two suns? And also most importantly with the TV is I set my backlight to only be at 40%. Now, normally the default brightness for most TVs is a little too bright for most camera sensors, uh, but you could also you know, offset that with just lighting the rest of your scene like super bright. It really is just a balancing act between the lighting in your scene and how bright your monitor is. But instead of just, you know, having to overlight your scene or just mess with like a whole bunch of different lights, it's way easier to just go into the settings of your TV and just crank your backlight brightness down or just your normal brightness or anything like that. That's really the only like cool tip, I guess. Ponchisi's cool tips, what the, what am I doing? <laughs> But that's really the only like kind of cool tip that I really have for this. Everything else is pretty much just bog standard when it comes to the setup of this shot. Uh, and once again, I, I feel like I say this a lot in Posing Ain't Easy, but like it really just goes to show that a really cool shot can come from just something super simple. Nothing, you don't really have to over engineer something or overthink anything. If the concept is cool and you have a cool pose and just looks tight, it's gonna look tight I guess <laughs> what am I saying <laughs> okay you know what anyway that about does it for today I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode of posing ain't easy as always thank you guys so much for watching my content thank you guys always so much for supporting my videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one love you bye <laughs> So it's